The sun beat down on the streets of the small Indian village, its heat unforgiving as it scorched the earth beneath it. Amidst the bustle of the marketplace, a woman moved with purpose, her eyes bright and her step determined. Her name was Amy Carmichael, and she had come to India with a mission. She was not a tall woman, nor was she striking in appearance, but there was a strength within her that could not be denied. Her hair was pulled back in a simple bun, her plain dress a stark contrast to the vibrant colors that surrounded her. But it was not her appearance that set her apart. It was the fire that burned within her soul. Amy had come to India to serve, to be a light in the darkness for those who had been forgotten. She had left her home and family behind, driven by a love for God and a desire to share the hope that she had found in Him. As she walked through the village, she came upon a group of children, their laughter echoing through the narrow streets. They were playing a game, their smiles bright and carefree. But as she drew closer, she noticed a girl standing apart from the others, her eyes downcast and her spirit broken. Amy approached the girl, her heart aching with the weight of the child's sorrow. What is your name? she asked, her voice soft and gentle. The girl looked up, her eyes filled with a mix of fear and curiosity. Padmini, she whispered, her voice barely audible. Amy knelt beside her, her gaze steady and kind. Do you know that you are loved, Padmini? she asked, her words carrying a power that could not be denied. That there is a God who cares for you and wants to give you hope. Padmini shook her head, her eyes wide with wonder. She had never heard such words, had never dared to believe that there could be hope for someone like her. Amy took the girl's hand, her touch gentle and warm. I will show you, she said, her voice filled with a quiet determination. I will help you see the love of God, and together we will share that love with others. And so Amy Carmichael continued her work in India, her heart a beacon of hope for those who had none. She founded the Donavor Fellowship, a refuge for children who had been abused and cast aside, and her love for them was boundless. She faced opposition and hardship, doubt and despair, but she never wavered in her mission, for she knew that it was not in her own strength or wisdom that she would succeed, but in the grace of the God she served. Years passed, and the world continued to turn, but Amy Carmichael's legacy lived on. Her life was a testament to the power of love and the strength of faith, and her story inspired generations to follow in her footsteps. For in the end, it was not the battles she fought or the victories she won that defined Amy Carmichael's life. It was the love she shared, the hope she kindled, and the lives she touched that would echo through the ages, a reminder of the simple truth that had changed the world.